Hi, I'm Dom Kane, and today I'm going to take a look at Ultra Analog for PluginBoutique.com. It's a synth based on various classic sounds, so let's take a look and see what it can do. So this is Ultra Analog. It's a little synth packed full of classic sounds similar to a wide range of synths new and old. So before I go through it in any detail, I'll just show you some of the presets out of the box. Although it looks fairly simple on the main layout, there's a lot to this synth hidden away from it if you need. Uh, this is basically the performance tab where you can see the voices, tuning, presets and banks to the top left here. And to the top right of the layout you can see the master volume control and meter. Below this you can see the effects units in a row. Uh, here we have the compressor, the equalizer, flanger, phaser and reverb and I'll show you how to change these in a moment. Below the effects units are the main controls for the synth with the pitch bend and mod wheel to the left and the clock settings to sync to the host, the key controls where you can set the synth to be polyphonic or monophonic and you can choose which note takes priority when in monophonic and even allow for a little error in there too. Next to this is the unison controls to detune the oscillators a little for thickening sounds and voices with the glide controls next to this and the vibrato controls here with not just rate and amount dials but also delay and fade too so you can control how quickly the vibrato starts to take effect on the notes. This is something I don't think I've actually seen before and it's going to be really handy for those big rich Jupiter type sounds where I normally have to automate the vibrato to come in manually. Next to this is the arpeggiator controls where you can find the usual controls like latch, ranges, order, span, sync and steps. And along the bottom here is where you can find the 16 steps of a pattern. Now up to the top centre of the layout you can see three tab buttons here, play, edit and effects. If I click on the edit button here this is where I can actually edit the innards of the sounds with two oscillators here allowing me to choose the octave, semitone and detune amount, the wave shape including sine, saw, square and noise, the pulse width for sharper square waves and then a sub dial below to bring in an extra bass tone. Next to this are two filters with tabs 1 and 2 here, each offering mix levels to both oscillator 1 and 2, and the noise mix level below. With full ADSR controls next to the mix here, and then filter type selection here, and frequency levels, envelope depth, drive and resonance. Then next to this is the LFO with the usual controls, but there's also a detune pulse width and filter frequency controls below that. Then finally you can see the overall amplitude ADSR controls here, and then all of the controls I've just gone through can also be found in slightly different layout to the right here amongst these tabs. Now the third tab at the top here is the effects one, which is where you can control and assign all of the effects in the sound with the equaliser and compressor at the top with all the usual controls and then a reverb unit at the bottom. The two sections in the middle here are interchangeable using the drop down arrow here allowing you to choose from delay, distortion, phaser, vintage chorus, chorus, flanger, auto wah, wah wah and a notch filter. The amount of effects available here means that you can really start to create new and original sounds without having to leave the synth itself. And for me this is one of the best features of this synth. So I'll just finish off now by playing some more of the presets packed inside the synth.
So that's the basics of Ultra Analog and it's available now through PluginBoutique.com. Cheers. See you soon.